Seen a Kasori air fryer advertised and you're not sure whether you should buy one? Now is the chance to find out. Let's jump straight into unboxing these Kasori air fryers. One pizza too many cooking and unboxing videos. Welcome back to the channel everybody and I'm dead excited today to be bringing you some unboxing videos of air fryers that aren't ninjas and you might be saying but everything on your channel is ninja based yes it is however Kasori have reached out to me and have asked me to unbox two of their new air fryers the dual zone and also the 6.5 litre smart connected air fryer yeah now you see why and I thought it'd be really really good comparison so I thought yeah you know what why not let's let's give them a good go let's give them a test and let's see what they're all about so Today's video is going to be all about this one, the Dual Zone Air Fryer. I'm then going to do another video of the 6.5 litre Smart Air Fryer in a couple of weeks time for you as well. And of course, I've got to do a side by side video, Dual Zone against the Ninja Dual Zone. You know, the king of air frying. Can this stand up? Is it a match? I can't wait to find out. So. Let's get this one out of the way for now because this is in videos to come. So make sure you stay subscribed to the channel. Hit that notifications bell for when I release a new video so you don't miss out on this one coming up. And we're going to get this dual zone unbox now. Let's go. First thing is first. This is the Kasori Air Fryer CAF R901-AUK. So I'm just going to grab a knife. Um, We'll get it open, let's see what's what. Okay. Being careful I don't go right through with these sharp ninja knives. And da -da, we have a box in a box. These companies love a box in a box. So let's have a look. And there we go. Quite a nice, simple sort of design on the box, isn't it? So you say it's Corsi, dual basket, 8.5 litre air fryer okay so it reckons it fits a four pound chicken in the drawer and um, 85 percent less oil it says customize your cooking function so we'll get into that in a little bit and also it's got a tilted touch display on the front and interestingly what i'm looking forward to seeing is these open fronted or glass fronted drawers as well so you can actually see what's cooking so on this side it says uh, 8.5 litre capacity so that's 4.25 per draw um, rapid heat circulation it's got a shake reminder so obviously when you're cooking you've got to shake it move stuff about it says clear viewing window check your food's progress without having to pull out the basket nice dual independent baskets that's what we're kind of used to now in, on air fryers and um, preheat function, safety function, the air fry, fry will automatically pause when you remove the basket, so again like most do, uh, and adjustable time and temperature. It also says, we're nearly into the unboxing bit, but it also says it's easy to use, easy to clean. The air fryers, non-stick surfaces are easy to clean and the baskets are dishwasher safe. Always a winner. And it's made of a non-stick material and at the bottom you've got a little QR code with over a hundred recipes and ideas that you can kind of look at so it says pack contents dual zone uh, air fryer user manual a crisper plate quick reference guide a baking rack a skewer rack and five skewers so let's let's get it open and let's see what it can offer but before we do it just says here the different functions 
the different functions of this air fryer. Okay, so you can air fry, reheat, grill, dehydrate, preheat, shake alert, it can bake and it can roast. So pretty much what the, the Ninja can do. So let's uh, let's again get this one open. So just gonna pop the box. Okay, so let's open her up. And if I can bring this over without it shooting off everywhere. So what I'll do is I'll bring the racks out. So two racks. Got the skewers. Got the end of the plug. And we've got the sort of little welcome pack and it says on the other side prepare your kitchen and your appetite so we'll open that in a second take the lid off and you can see the airflow there so let's let's get it lifted out and let's get it on the bench and there's nothing else in the box now apart from the polystyrene so let's let's have a look so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open I'm going to open the little uh, little booklet that comes with it, and it does say connect with us. So at Kasori Cooks hashtag Kasori Cooks. It's on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and X as well or Twitter. And in here you've got your user manual, and you've also got a little shortcut sheet on the different functions and how this works. Then in here we've got the racks that go inside the trays so let's pull these out. There's one. And there's two. So they have got little rubber or silicon feet on the bottom as well just to protect your inside of your fryer so it doesn't get scratched and they are non-stick so that's good got the skewers they didn't want me to open them so we're going to take the little cable tie cut that and we've got the the skewers these are quite nice I'll take some close-ups of these as well. Then we have got the plug. We're going to take the plastic off. And there's a plug protector. And then we've got the air fryer itself. So let's take let's take this off, shall we? Start the back so it's a big reveal in front. Okay. Da -da. Wow. Nice. First impressions are everything. Getting this out of the box, I'd say first impressions are pretty good. It looks it looks pretty pretty well built straight from the off. Obviously, we won't find out until we start using it a bit, but overall, um, I think this looks looks pretty good. It, you, could you see this sat on your workbench at home, in your kitchen? Because let's face it, these are gonna stay out, otherwise you'll never use them. Can you see yourself using this? Right then, on top, it's got a little bit about caution, okay? about the back because on the back there are some air vents, a couple of air vents and if you put this under a counter at the top, let's say you've got some cupboards here, if you put this under a lot of heat is going to come out of this okay. It does say don't fill with hot oil, 
I'll put a picture of this on the screen so you can see. It shows you what bits are hot. It shows you about if you're tipping the drawer out that this doesn't fall out and hit you as well. Um, and it just overall gives you a little bit of information about it. And if you're anything like me, you just want to get plugged in and get started with, there is another sticker on the front, okay? That says, before you get started, there's more things inside the drawer. So we need to get these out as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undo the tape, see if there's one on this side as well. There is. And let's have a little look. Quite hard to pull the drawers out, but I'm thinking that's because there's a load of packaging inside. So, there's one drawer. And quite nice, do you get racks as well to put inside as well? So you can actually stand things up and fry them as well. I like that. Let's have a look on this one. Again, the same. And this time a different rack. And this one is the skewer rack. So you could have some chicken on a skewer and then sit them on that rack. Do some more. Like so. So you could have five chicken skewers, drop that in and they'll all stay on the rack and they should air fry nicely with all the, the grease and the fat and the oil dripping off dripping off into the base. Very nice. So that's the two drawers and like I said earlier, yeah, it's not glass, but it's, they are plastic windows. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see how they hold up over an amount of time. We'll do it, get me behind them, but I think that's a, a nice addition. There's then a little bit of cardboard in the bottom. And then these can slide back in. Now, before I do that, I'm just gonna have a look inside, just have a look at the air fryer. And like, like the others that are on the market, there's two elements to this at the top, one for each side, so they are independent. Put that back in. Nice, nice click when you put it in. Quite a good, these aren't just gonna, they're not just gonna slide out these. You've, you've got to give them a bit of a, bit of a pull, which again is quite nice. Um, on the front, it also says that you can sink your cooking and sink your finishing. Okay, so again, like we're used to in a lot of air fryers. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna plug it in. I'm just gonna see what happens, I'm gonna see what it says. I've never unboxed one of these, I've never turned one on, so you're in this with me. So we'll plug it in and see what happens. Before I switch it on, I'm just gonna take off these, obviously these warning stickers. There's one. On this front touch screen panel, I need to take that off as well. And what I would say is, I think that looks really sleek with the touch screen top on it. Um, in terms of keeping it clean, there's no, you know, it's not a load of buttons or anything. So overall, I think that looks pretty good. And the stickers so far have come off really nicely. There we go. So you can now see it's all nicely lit up on the top and you've got sink finish and sink cook now there's different sort of things or meanings to these so sink finish is when you want the drawers cooking two separate things to be finished at the same time 
sync cook means when you've set your first draw and you want the second one to do exactly the same that is when you would press that and little Pierre de la Resistance little uh, light button and the inside lights up as well so you can obviously see what's cooking so I'll do this side as well and this side again okay I like that so what we're gonna do uh, let's turn it on let's see how loud this thing is okay so let's go left draw let's go with da, 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 air fry 200 degrees and let's press sync cook and see if this side matches it does okay and then we're going to press the play pause button and both sides have now switched on for five minutes 59 seconds So it now says add food. So that was a pre -eat then. Wow. So now let's open. So it didn't really matter about opening the drawers earlier. So let's pretend we're now adding the food. I've added it in. And they are both counting down. Now, interestingly. If I, pull, if I stop one, the other's still going as it did before. That's not bad. So the preheat's now switched off the light, and we've now got the shape one is lit up as well. So let's see what it does when it asks for a shake. go it's asking for a shake it's flashing shake at the top and you hear the little beeps so you, you give the items a little shake put them back in and off you go again very nice so I'll fast forward this bit to the end see what kind of noise it does at the end see if it does any special beeps beeps let's see if it switches itself off the fans as well yeah they do very nice now while I was cooking I was looking at the racks that go in the bottom of the drawers obviously got little feet on they let the fat run through whatever you're cooking but they have thought about it because these racks that they give you to cook on, they actually fit this bottom rack so they don't then move about. They actually sit on there. So there's one. I'll try the chicken skewer rack as well. Yeah, and the chicken skewer rack fits as well. Nice, I like I like little attention to detail like that. I think that's really good. So let's get a drawer out and let's put some of these in and see what they're like. And I have got my trusty tape measure out as well. Obviously, um, for fans follow me on uh, Facebook and Instagram, uh, you'll realise that uh, this was spotted um, by a Cool FM presenter um, in Ireland across the pond um, and they had a bit of a chuckle about me having my tape measure out so this is for them okay so it is 11 and a half centimeters the depth of the basket the width is 17.7 and the length is 
and then that just pops straight in like that. And then you've obviously got your racks. So if you were cooking something, you could stand stuff up. So for example, your hash browns on a Sunday morning, if you wanted them nice and crispy, you could stand them in the rack. Or you can even do, look at this, toast in your air fryer. Brilliant. So you can do your toast in one side, bacon and sausage in the other. Jobs are good. So that's that one. This side is exactly the same size, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop and I'm just going to put the skewer holder in to show you. And you could then have your chicken skewers cook your way as well. Very nice. So while I've got you in, I'll do a couple of measurements as well. So I know a lot of people want to know the height of these things to fit under the countertops. So let's have a look. So it is 30.5 centimeters in height. Now the depth, I'll do it all the way from the back where these little vents are. And I'll do it all the way to the front of the handles. Okay, so is 38 and a half centimeters depth and the total width across is 42.1 centimeters. So there we go guys, unboxing, first sell, first review, first feeling about this Kasori Dual Zone Air Fryer. And you know what? I've got to say, I have been pleasantly surprised. As a ninja addict, as you'll see behind me, I was a bit skeptical. But overall, I've been fairly impressed just with this initial unboxing. Um, and time will tell using it. I am going to use it. I'm going to see what it's like. And I'm going to do some upcoming videos cooking with it as well, just so you guys can get a feel of it. You know, is it worth buying? Currently, today, as we speak, this is on Amazon in my Amazon influencer store, and it's £158. So it does represent a good saving in compared, you know, to other brands like Ninja. Um, but should you buy one? Well, that is a question for you to answer. I do feel that first use, it does feel pretty good quality really. Most of these are made in China, so even the Ninjas are made in China. Um, so the technology in them is pretty much the same anyway. This has got two heating zones at the top, um, none at the bottom, and it's got a nice touch screen panel. I'm really excited to unbox the 6.5 litre Corsori air fryer because it's got heating element at the bottom and the top. It's got a fairly big basket and it's connected to a smart app as well. I love a smart app. If you see me uh, unboxing the Inkbird thermometer, I love a smart app. So tell me in the comments below guys, what do you think about these Kasori air fryers? Are they worth the money? Have you got one? How long has it lasted? Has it, has it, you know, met your expectations? Let me know in the comments below. And make sure, now this is going to be a weird one, you head over to my Facebook page, and it's called Ninja Foodie World. I want you to cause a bit of a fuss over there um, and post some pictures of what you're cooking with your Kasori air fryer. And I want to get a bit of a conversation between the two parties going on there. Um, and it's going to be really interesting to see people's thoughts because let's face it, people are, you know, brand loyalty is key in it. So will the ninjas, will they be, you know, willing to accept a newcomer on the scene? Who knows? But I am excited to use this um, and their other air fryers too. Um, so 
you know massive thanks to Kasori for sending me this to unbox and review and the other one as well which is going to be coming up in a couple of videos time so make sure you are hitting that subscribe and you don't miss another video it's great to have you on board thanks for watching and i'll see you again very soon one pizza too many